career consultant with Career Analysts. I'm going to talk to you today about how to get into various careers. I'm going to tell you about how to become a forensic pathologist. Pathologists are doctors, so you would need to actually go for the full medical training initially, and clearly you're going to need top grades at A-level and bags of experience in the medical profession, volunteering here, there and where, um, in order to actually secure a place on a very competitive course. Um, you then have um, a long-term degree followed by extensive training um, on the job in clinical practice. Now, one medical specialism is actually pathology, which is looking um, really at um, you know, very minute processes to identify as disease or toxins or whatever in the cells of the body and in the, 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 kind of the substances of the body. Um, and one of the most high profile of the pathological specialisms is to actually become a forensic pathologist. Now that's what we think of when we think of uh, Quincy and CSI um, and that is the person who is performing the autopsies um, in order to um, inform criminal investigations, forensic meaning criminal. So they would be actually looking at various tissues and looking for cause of death and advising um, perhaps the prosecution, perhaps the defence um, and also maybe attending court cases to, and providing evidence in court. So it's not just the very detailed analysis um, that you would need to be uh, you know, in the scientific side but actually there will be occasions where you actually need to be perhaps um, undertaking some public speaking too. So those are the steps that you would need to go through to become a forensic 